Okay, good morning. Good morning. Good afternoon. <laughs> good afternoon and welcome to Shulchan Aruch Yomi. Today we are starting a new set of halachas, Hilkos Kriyashma, Simonun Ches 58. My friend Eliyahu couldn't believe we already made the Hilkos Kriyashma. Amazing, amazing. In a little more than 11 weeks, we've made it <coughs> through Hilkos Tilos Yadayim in the morning, Hilkos Sitzis, Hilkos Tfilin, Hilkos now we're in Kriya Shema. Got to join. I mean, we're we're going fast, fast motion over here. We're going like um, Superman, you know, Superman, you know, like fast and a speeding bullet. All right, let's do this. Aleph seven halachas over here. Aleph man Kriya Shema. Find out about what time you have to say Kriya Shema. You're gonna love this. Oh yeah, you're gonna find out when can you until when can you say Kriya Shema. It's gonna answer surprise you. I'll explain. In the regular share and more in Ian Hashelchan Aruch, where I'm going to make an amazing claim and something an amazing cool off for a lot of people that have time, have a hard time getting up early in the morning for Kriya Shema. You're not going to want to miss this. Allah, who's one Kriya Shema Shachem Shiras Chaveira Ragim Moksas Berichuk Arba Amos Viakirenu. You have to be able to see him, <coughs> an acquaintance, right? Most people we know are not friends of ours, are acquaintances. You can recognize an acquaintance from four Amos, about six feet. <coughs> So that's the time you can start saying Kriya Shema. It's a little bit before Neitzach Ham, but that's the ideal time. That's what the mission says in Brachos. When Nimshach's mana at Sof, it's actually because we pass like that. When Nimshach's mana at Sof, Shal shows Shir Via Yom. We're going to see Bidiyavid, you can say it up until three hours into the day. That's three halachic hours into the day. There's different Zmanim, you know. It's famous, the Magna of Ram Shita and the, the Vilna Gon Shita. The Vilna Gon obviously is usually like an hour later you get to say Kriya Shema according to the Magna of Ram. A lot of people from people are machmer for the Magen of Ram to say Kriya Shema within three hours because after we're going to learn Mrs. Kriya Shema is Doraisa, Savag Doraisa Lachomra, it's two valid sheets, Magen of Ram and Gra. You go earlier, but we're going to see even until three hours is really the evidence. Mitzvah and Amuvchar. It's interesting to admit about Mitzvah and Amuvchar because it seems from the Gemara that really the Mitzvah is to do it, the Chachila is to do it at Vasikin. the evidence you have until three hours. Mitzvah and Amuvchar, the Kurosal Kuvasik, and the Shulchan Aruch says it's actually, Mitzvah and Amuvchar sounds like it's the best possible thing, but even the Kharkhila would be okay until three hours. Anyway, the best thing to do is do it Vasikin. What does Vasikin mean? Perish Talmidim, Rashi, Birch Hanashim, Anavim, Machama, Mitzvos. People that are humble and love Mitzvos, like Vasikin from the Vatican, right? You know the Vatican? The, Va- <laughs> the Vatican. The Vatican oh. City in Rome, yeah, the Vatican City. Vatican City. The country stayed in Rome, Rome, the smallest country in the world. It's actually a country, a sovereign country, you know that? The Vatican City is a country with its own flag. Um, <clears throat> it's a sovereign state, city-states. Only about 5,000 people, most, all of them cardinals. And you got the Pope over there, Vasikin, the Vatican. They're very careful about mitzvahs, right? Would the Gemara talk about Christians in the Gemara? Could it be? Anyway, Shei Machav in the Kroos of Ma'at Kodem Admanan Nizachan, Vasikin... According to most Mepharshim, means people who are diligent in mitzvos, they would read a little before Neitzah right? Neitzah is when the first rays of the sun come out of the sky. Um, I mean, the first appearance of the sun, Neitzah is when the sun appears. Los HaShachar and Amud HaShachar is when you start seeing a little bit of light in the sky. You want to be able to say right before Nitzah so that by the time you get finished the brachas of Kriya Shema, the bracha after Kriya Shema, you already say tefillah exactly at Nitzah There's a big Indian to dive in Nitzah um, It's a big mile. If you're able to do this, a lot of people are very mocked. They do daven Kvasikin. Right? They say Kriya Shema right before, and they daven exactly at Vasikin. There are minyanim like that around. Hagashir Nitzah if you don't have a clock, if you don't have one of those calendars, calculate when you see the sun, the whole entire uh, circle of the sun uh, in the sky. An hour before that is Neitzah Chama. See, it seems from this halacha that really the best time to read, not only the best time, but you're supposed to do it at Vasikin. And that's why you're supposed to do it as early as possible. You're interested in saying, okay, I'll get up the last minute before. The grazma. No, you should do it as early as possible. That's what it seems to be. Gimel. A person who has unfortunate circumstances, he has to travel in the African, the Sahara, Sahara, the Sahara Desert, the African jungles, 
We list him, or he's going on safari on his five star uh, location. We list him, or you know, I guess in Africa, there's a lot of there's a lot of list him also. South Africa, also a lot of people that steal things from you. He can't stand where he's got to be constantly moving. Otherwise, we attacked by these bandits and by these animals. Filu uh, You can't even say alavavcha, which according to the most opinions say is the mitzvah del raisa. Not all of the three parshiyos of Kiddush Mahal is del raisa. The machlok is just the first pasuk del raisa, or just maybe alavavcha, or the first parak. Oh shemnei ashayar holkem ehir v'liam tinulo, where he's going on a on a sheirut, a caravan, on a bus. They're not going to wait for him. Klal yachl the grosse and berchosem and shalom and b'shaka. Again, he's going to be on a caravan. It's going to be hard for him to say Kiddush Mahal with kavana. We'll see one of the mitzvah Srikha's kavana is by Kriyashma. You have to have kavana uh, to do the mitzvah. You're not going to be able to do it, so you can you can already you, you be prepared for this and read it already at Alam Shmisha Alam Mura Shakar. Once I'm with a shakar hitch, which is probably approximately 72 minutes before, and it's a chama the king which Alam Shakar Shabri Kareen and Bay of Kumecha. Right? This is not because it's considered the day already, it's because the Torah says Bishakla Kumecha, you're supposed to the Dibartabam Shivka Bisakla the Dibartabam is Torah, but also first the Kriya Shma, Bishakha Kumecha, when you go to sleep and when you get up in the morning. So um a lot of people get up um earlier than than, than dawn, earlier than Etzahama. So um I guess dawn would be Amun Shakar. They get up very early before Nesachama, so therefore it's called Kumech. Gam Shabbat Mikri Yotzer Or. You can still all say all the Berchos Krishna Yotzer Or. It creates Or because there's still light outside. Of Alim Enom Mkom Gdudi Chayiv Listim. The Gam Eme Shari and Chabazim Kol Kach. He's not in a rush. I feel Yotzer Lederach Achar Shalom and Ashachar. Eno Kore Ashi Agiyaz Mana. You should wait until the proper time, which is Mishiachir Chavireno Aragim Moksas. Tal and Amos, a person acquainted with you, you can see him, you can recognize him from a distance of six feet, then you should say it at that point. Dalit. If he went against the halacha, he read it, which is B'diyavid. Yatsa B'diyavid, he's Yotze, even if it wasn't an Ones. If he didn't say the brachas at that time, he just said Kriya Shema. Sometimes people do that. They're not. They're worried that the minion is going to take too long and not say Kriya Shema as much. So I'll say, uh, because we're going to learn the Birchos Kriya Shema, you have four hours to say. As opposed to Kriya Shema, you only have three hours. <laughs> so you say the brachas after, and you're going to repeat Kriya Shema. Because Kriya Shema is just... Psukim from the Torah, so it's okay, it's not a problem to say Psukim from the Torah, to repeat them. Hey, and then as the Lokara Kriyashma Arvis, Asha Allah Murashachar, if you had an onus <coughs> and you forgot or you could have weren't able to read Kriyashma at night, Asha Allah Murashachar, and now again dawn breaks, Kamash Adain Lomi Sakham, but since the Sakham didn't come yet, Kore Kriyashma Vyotza Ba Yilichovas Kriyashma Arbis, could be Yotza your Kriyashma of night, being Aya Onis, but also Shal, let's say, Zadarach Makam Gudu de Chayav Alistim, Lukras Kriyashma Pam Shanis, let's say, Ba Yilichovas Kriyashma Shal Yom, Shmacha Shasta, the Oso Shal, Laila, Yev Shal Lachar, the Sosa Yom. The reason being, you're allowed to say it even after Manashakar, because like Jacques said, Kumecha, people get up early, Shakbra, people also have parties at night, and they go to sleep very late, they go to sleep before before Nitzachama, even after dawn. People going to sleep even after dawn. It's called b'shachbacha. It's the time for saying kriyashma. Now you can't say both kriyashma shal arvis of the previous night and kriyashma shal shachris because the way it sounds like from this halacha, it's hard to disaster. You're saying it's both that in the day and night. To me personally, I would say there's no problem because it's not because kriyashma shal shachris is during the day and kriyashma shal shachris is at night, right? For example, davening mincha after plag mincha and then mariv. Um, Davening Mincha after Plagam Mincha and Mara before Shkia, um, it's all seeds of locus, it's Fila, but Rehuda and the Rabbana, that's hard to disaster because Mincha depends on the day and the night. Here, it, it depends on the Pasuk, Bishal Kokomecha. And to me, it would seem that since people both are still awake, this period between dawn and Eitzah Chama, uh, sunrise, when basically people, there are people that are sleeping, uh, and there are people that are up at this time, people going to sleep, and people that are up at this time. So therefore, I don't think it's hard to this house to read it, both Shel Shach and Shel Arvis, that's my opinion. Uh, that would be arguing on the rush. So I'm going to rush. The rush is big. Even though the time for Kriya Shema goes until the third hour, happens to a lot of people. They miss the three hours. You can say it with the brachos until the fourth hour. The brachos, the time limit, it's four hours. 
you don't have the schar of reading in this man. It sounds like you have some schar. Then you can no longer say the birchas kriyashma, but you can say kriyashma the kol yom. The lashon of the Mishnah is if if three hours have passed. You have Scott Lo Hifsid Kaadama Kore Ba Torah. I want to explain that Mishnah in more in detail. It sounds like from the Mishnah that you're reading the Torah, that you're in the Mitzvah of Talmud Torah, but you wouldn't be also in the Mitzvah of Kriyashma after three hours. And most people are very, very mahbit to say within three hours Kriyashma, otherwise they lose the Mitzvah of Kriyashma. Mishnah from the Shulchan doesn't sound like you're losing the, even after three hours. It sounds like you get Skar, some Skar, at least partial Skar of Kriyashma, just not the Skar of Kriya Bismana. Uh, furthermore, the ideal time is, is Vasikin. So, you know, you're already losing Skar by doing it after Vasikin, so it's just a little less Skar. The Shulchan Aruch seems to imply that even after three hours, Giyosi, the Mitzvah, Zayim, Kara, Lo Kara Biyom, Ish Om Sheish La Tashlumin of Ba'arvis. There's an opinion that says, if you didn't say it during the day, you can say it twice at Ma'ariv. Lo Kara Kriyashma Ba'arvis, Ish La Tashlumin Ba'yom. If you didn't say the one at Ma'ariv, and now it's already Neitzacham, you can say two, Ish Cholkim. The Kolbo brings the Shem Rabbeinu Chaim, the Archolkim, and the Gra and the Berke Yosef, the Chriu Kedei they pass again that you don't have Tashlum, and there's no point in saying Kriya Shema after the day already passed or the night already passed. You can't make it up. That'll be the conclusion of today's Simon. Stay tuned for Ian Shulchan Aruch, where I'm talking about maybe the most fundamental, practical Jew question in modern day Judaism: the three hours for Kriya Shema, even according to the Gra, could it be out afterwards? The answer will shock you. Stay, stay tuned. Coming up next.